it because I really do believe this. Rapper Jermaine Foots, aka Kiss, wanted to distinguish himself from the competition. Something that shocks people, it gives you that like striking image. He figured light gray eyes would certainly be better than the brown eyes he was born with. I was always always memorable on stage. So this was just something that just gave me a little bit more of a edge to the other people that were on stage. The 39-year-old didn't hesitate to undergo a controversial eye surgery in which cosmetic implants are permanently placed in the eye, an operation that is not approved in the United States. Kiss had to fly to India to get it done. Oh, when I first saw it, I was like in love with myself already. <laughs> so of course, I thought it was a great, great thing. There were no initial complications, but three years later, Kiss is losing his eyesight. I got worried, I got scared. I'm concerned um, for my patient, um, especially since he has blind in one eye and he's very young and so he has only one good eye. Dr. Avneet Sodegar is a cataract and glaucoma specialist at the Asil Eye Institute in Beverly Hills. It still shocks me how many, how many people still want to go ahead forward with these implants. Dr. Sodegar says these cosmetic eye color surgeries performed in other countries have devastating long-term complications, irreversible vision loss that can lead to blindness. You know, these implants, they just cause chronic, chronic inflammation, severe problems, and even after removing these implants, the, it just doesn't end there. You're gonna have either a second surgery, third surgery just to control either eye pressure, uh, the swelling of the surface of the eye, the cornea. Kiss reached out to Dr. Sodegar in hopes of salvaging his remaining vision. Uh, do you have any questions about the surgery today? No, I'm a little nervous. Dr. Avneet Sodegar will be removing the colored contacts. Unfortunately, this new surgery will not repair the damage that was done. Kiss will need a corneal transplant and glaucoma surgery. Dr. Sodegar is focused. So this is 11.5 millimeters. Here's a 3.5 aperture. On saving her patient's remaining vision. I'm gonna grab this implant and go slowly. It's a delicate operation. Here is the implant. The attached colored contacts have to be gently removed without further damaging the cornea. His pupil was very decentered downwards. Dr. Sodegar says more people need to be aware of the severe damage caused by these permanent colored lenses. It's all about vanity. It's so important for people to be aware. It's, you know, a public health crisis going on. She says people who want to change the color of their eyes do so without even realizing that a contact permanently placed on the iris can cause cataracts, even blindness, if they are not removed. The public should be aware about these implants. KISS is not the only one this has happened to. Others are taking to social media to warn people. This is model Nadine Bruna. She posted on Instagram that she flew to Colombia to change the color of her eyes. At first, Nadine loved her new gray eyes until she lost 80% of her vision in one eye. Nadine had to undergo a corneal transplant. Just a few weeks ago, I had a patient interested in getting these implants, asking me about these implants, very adamant, wanting to get these implants, despite even me telling them not to. Kiss learned his lesson the hard way. I am back with my brown eyes. He no longer has the light gray eyes he adored. He's back to his natural brown eyes. His message to others considering permanent color contacts? If I had any message to tell anybody is, you're always good enough. You might want to think a little bit more about the things that, that, that you put into your body that you can't just take right out. Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.